ask myself in Zimbabwe, I did that last year already, is Bitcoin ownership possible also in rural areas where you might not have the best internet connection? And that's why I set out to do a self-custody lightning wallet test, 40 kilometers from the capital. And I tested Blixt, Green, Mutiny, Phoenix, Zeus, and for the fun of it, Wallet of Satoshi. I have to add that Green and Mutiny say they are still in the experimental phase. So first you need to open a channel. And there are several ways you can do it. And I tried all those three that I know of. It's like you can open a transaction directly from the blockchain. You can send lightning from your custodial or non-custodial lightning wallet to the wallet to open a channel. Or you also can swap your liquid Bitcoin via an exchange called Bolts Exchange and open a channel. So I tried that with different wallets in different ways. With the Blix wallet, I had to use on-chain. They didn't have another option than just buying liquidity, and I didn't want to do that. With Mutiny, I used directly Lightning from another Phoenix wallet I already had. With Green, I used Liquid via Bolt to Lightning. With Phoenix, I used Phoenix. And with Zeus, I also tried to use Liquid. And the results are very interesting. So the green wallet actually was the cheapest. I opened a channel for 100,000 Satoshis for every wallet. And I had 97,500 Satoshis in my wallet then that I could spend. So the cost to open the channel was 3.5%. But Zeus, for instance, cost me almost 50% of the funds I sent in to open my channel. Okay, now I had this open channel and I did that in Harare, not out there, because I thought that won't be possible to open the channels there. So this is how I sat for about two hours. And I had a protocol. Like, I started with sending and receiving lightning. I sent 50,000 Satoshis to Phoenix, and then I tried to receive 30,000 back. And the interesting thing is that the fully custodial wallet of Satoshi took nine seconds to complete the payment, whereas Phoenix to used three seconds, and it's fully uh, sovereign, fully sovereign. Then I tried to send to a lightning address because I thought for any reason it might be dif give different um, results, and it did. Green was able to send to the lightning address. It took 40 seconds, but still it did. And Mutiny, Phoenix, and of course, Wallet of Satoshi did it very well. Then, because I'm speaking now of liquid, because I think that if people can't afford high transaction fees, we should give them the opportunity to own something like Bitcoin as well, in cold storage also. And that's why I um, sent 20,000 Satoshis to swap it into liquid. And Phoenix did well as before. So then I thought, OK, I give those three wallets who didn't complete any payment out there a second chance and tried the same in town with LTE. And sadly, they failed again. So my results, my uh, recommendation at the moment for self-custody on the Lightning Network is Mutiny and Phoenix. And as I said before, Mutiny is interesting from the fact that they also now integrate Fedimint. So self-custody, even in the test, trumps custody because it gives you ownership. And also, because Wallet of Satoshi recently ceased its operations in the US because for regulatory reasons, I believe the US authorities told them you must KYC your users because you are a custody, you hold custody for their Bitcoin, and they didn't want to do that. But this can happen anytime in any country. So always be aware if you're using a custodial wallet. Only have small amounts in it. Hello, my name is Anita Posh. And if you liked that video, please subscribe to my channel now to inspire me to create more content like this. And if you want to learn more about Bitcoin, then sign up for my free weekly Bitcoin newsletter at anita.link news.